Hi Leo and welcome to your love tarot readings here. The reading here is going to focus on what should your next move be. Hopefully the messages here are going to be helpful uh, with regards to a romantic connection here. Now as always these messages are general so please keep that in mind. If you're after a personal tarot reading with myself feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. So the messages here are intended for Leo Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross-watching as well. Oh, okay. We have a few cards. Okay, so we have the World card. Temperance, the Ace of Wands, and the last one. So what should Leah's next move be? The Hermit here. Okay. Um, the World card here. There is something here that's ending around you, okay? Uh, a completion of some cycle here, or a completion of some chapter here. Allow something to end here. Because there is an ending here that is ushering in a new beginning. So for some of you with regards to a romantic energy here, it may not be, inter like, don't interpret, ne don't necessarily interpret as you are ending things with your romantic energy. It could be that some sort of cycle is ending, or it could be that there may be an, an ending to some sort of um, negative uh, or negative patterns or any holding patterns here. It could be that the two of you are ending a chapter here in your life and you're beginning a new one. There is some sort of, I feel like there is some sort of completion, okay? And you must consciously allow yourself to, to, Accept here what is ending for you because there's something else uh, that awaits you in the process here. Um, the other message that I'm getting here is for some of you, um, there's a need for closure here. Your next move should, should be one that I feel like brings you closure with regards to a situation. Some of you, I feel like you may be still hung up on a past romantic energy here and because you're still fixated on what could have been or a sense of missed opportunity and I feel like because you haven't successfully closed the last chapter of your book you're therefore you're un, um, you're not yet willing uh, to begin a new chapter here so the world card is actually is speaking to you of endings here but again it could be the ending of a cycle it could be the ending of a karmic cycle it could be the ending of a chapter it very well could be the ending of a romantic connection here but that's purely because that connection no longer serves you. It's a little outdated and it's done all it could do. Like all of its um, potential has been fully utilized. There's no more the connection has to give to you. Um, and for others of you, I'm seeing that you should take um, action towards getting closure here. Okay, There is a connecting energy here, someone from your past whom I feel like, look, maybe you're totally over them, Leo, but maybe you're not over the hurt, the pain, the resentment they caused you, because I feel like there is still some sort of, there's some loose ends that need to be uh, wrapped up. Um, and for others, if this is someone whom you cannot connect with, perhaps it is time to draw upon your own closure. Now with temperance, there's also a need, your next move should be restoring some sort of balance, and perhaps um, putting an putting an end to things or perhaps uh, bringing in closure here might restore that beautiful equilibrium and that balance that you really need here. Um, it could also be that your relationship is a little off balanced or your current your current energies, your you know, your emotional um, core is a little off centered, off balance here. So there's a need for you to work on yourself here because your mirror, um, your outer world mirrors your inner world okay so your outer world is a direct reflection of what's going on inside and some of you i feel like your balance is a little off so there's a need for that to be restored here temperance is also about being patient um, there's a need for some of you to be a little bit more patient whether it's with yourself whether it's with a certain romantic energy here there's a need for you to give this a little bit more time here because time i feel like will um will reveal a lot of things here. Now, I'm also seeing that 
whenever temperance pop, pops up here it's like a blending of uh, either ideas or energies here so I feel like there needs for some of you um, I'm seeing that there needs to be a blend of energies here um, temperance is the perfect alchemist here whenever it pops up and there's a need for you to blend your energies with someone else intertwine um, some sort of magical entanglement is what I'm getting here. Temperance also warns you, I feel like it's sort of, it gently nudges you to put you back on the right track. Um, so if you're wondering exactly what should your next move be, make sure it's one that I'll, make sure it's one that has meaning and purpose behind it. Now with the Ace of Wands here, something is yours for the taking is the message I'm getting for you Leo and this is your energy here there's a flame that burns here and I feel like it's meant for you here um, it hasn't been put to use yet so whether there is a flame that still flickers between you and a romantic energy whether there is a romantic connection in your life that it's you know that's setting your heart on fire I feel like it holds this spark this flame holds a lot of intensity and potential here so it's whatever you choose to do so your next move, I feel like the next move here is in your corner. The ball is in your court here. So I feel like stay open to um, opportunities and new ideas and new ways of doing things. Um, you know, the when the Ace of Wands pops up in your spread, it's normally the universe green lighting you. So um, be a lot more open or receptive to opportunities coming your way here. Um, some of you may even feel like compelled to do something very new or something that's not necessarily, um, you know, with, within your character. It's, it predicts the inception of something new here. Also, there's a need for you to open your heart to some sort of new beginning, to a new romantic connection or a new beginning. Because I feel like that very well could fan the flames, could fan this um, spark that we're seeing. Now with Hermit here, not all big moves need to be publicly declared here. And the Hermit is a card of meditation, inner reflection, time out, you know, hermiting, hermit mode. So I feel like make sure make sure it's it's a move that you won't regret here. I feel like um, the message that I'm getting, some of you you need to you need to do some soul searching here. Or you need to take the time away from a busy um, from a busy uh, life here. You need to find a uh, time to pause. Is what I'm seeing. Make some space for being on your own um, and distance yourself from from the noise here. Some of you are a little bit disconnected with your inner uh, with your inner voice, or some of you are a little bit disconnected uh, from your higher self here. So. It's very important that you sort of reconnect to your center here. Take a, take a moment to synchronize with yourself and um, synthesize here. Okay, and see, uh, see what advice is coming from inside. Okay, see what your inner voice or your higher self is telling you you should do. You know, what should be your next move. That's coming from the voice within. So listen to that. Take some time out and just hear what that voice is trying to faintly whisper. That's all the messages I have for you. Thank you guys for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to the channel, liking, commenting, sharing. I will be sharing with you more tarot love readings, so stay tuned. Thanks guys again. Bye for now.